Left my home in Saga, driving up the 11 highway. Cause we got something to play for. Let's tie the series up today. Yeah, gonna watch the Steelheads play North Bay. Watching them score as I say hooray. Watch the Steelheads play North Bay. Go, Steel, go. <laughs> okay, well, we're back here for the second time in as many weeks. North Bay Memorial Gardens, home of the North Bay Battalion. We're here for game two of the playoffs, or should we say the Bayoffs? <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Shut up, let's walk around. So where does everybody stand in the OHL playoffs right now? Well, obviously, uh, we're down one nothing to North Bay. Uh, Ottawa is up one nothing on Oshawa. Uh, Barry is up 2 nothing on Hamilton, and Peterborough is up 2 nothing on Sudbury. Uh, in the Western Conference, we have London up one nothing on Owen Sound. We have Saginaw up 2 nothing on Flint. Uh, Sarnia is up one nothing on Guelph. And the big surprise is the eight-seeded Kitchener Rangers are up 2 nothing on the one-seeded Windsor Spitfires. So, uh, yeah, if Windsor wants to advance, they gotta pull their socks up. Today's games, in addition to ours, uh, Ottawa and Oshawa play game two today. Uh, London and Owen Sound play game two. Uh, Guelph and Sarnia play game two, and Barry and Hamilton play game three. That series shifts to Hamilton. That is a night game, uh, I believe, because they played in Barry last night uh, to ease some of the uh, travel a bit. But uh, yeah. As for my Quebec League team at Gatineau Olympique, they're up 2-0 in their series against the defending Memorial Cup champion St. John Sea Dogs. Uh, they won the home games pretty handily, 7-1 and 9-0. So, yeah, uh, not much competition there. Uh, they are going to St. John. The next three games are scheduled in St. John. They're doing a 2-3-2 format uh, because of the distance between the cities. You know, if you think I do a lot of long drives, the distance between Gatineau and St. John is 10 and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't know if they're doing that on the bus or if they might use a plane for that. But uh, yeah, good luck in New Brunswick, boys. I have a feeling it's going to be a short series. Also, since I last made a video, we found out that uh, there will be at least one Misa playing in the 2024 Memorial Cup. That's right, the Saginaw Spirit have been awarded the Memorial Cup. The first uh, U.S. host, I believe, since 1998, I believe the year is. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, yeah gonna be a lot of fun so Michael Misa will be playing in that and uh, maybe if we're lucky Luke will join him. <laughs> also uh, the Erie Otters end up winning the draft lottery so they will get the first pick of the April 21st uh, OHL draft. Uh, Niagara gets the second pick, uh, Sault Ste. Marie gets the third pick and Kingston the fourth. Uh, I said uh, in the last video that I believed Mississauga was getting the sixth pick they're actually getting the seventh. I did get the positioning right but what I forgot about was uh, Niagara's pick last year uh, Sam Dickinson at number four did not sign. He wanted the trade, uh, which he got to London. Uh, so because of that, Niagara gets a compensatory pick. When you get a compensatory pick like that, it is the pick after the pick you had last year. So Niagara, in addition to getting the second pick this year, uh, gets the fifth as a compensatory. So because of that, the Steelheads, who would have been sixth, are bumped down to seventh. So that's why that happened. Seven is still a pretty good pick, though. We should be able to get a pretty exciting player with that. Uh, again, the draft is uh, starts. The first three rounds are on April 21st, and the draft continues on the morning of April 22nd, so it's another two-day thing. Uh, good luck to the Steelheads in the draft, but uh, playoffs first. I've come around looking for the bus, and I don't see it. That truck is parked where the bus was last week, but uh, yeah, I don't know if it's gone to gas up or something, but uh, it is almost time to go in, so let's get inside, and hopefully I'll see the bus after the game. So I walk in and all of a sudden it's like, hey, look up behind you. <laughs> oh, Bill's going the other way. Whoa, hey. <laughs> recovered from almost getting stepped on. Uh, let's continue. Same spot last week, calm before the storm. Uh, looks like the new playoff t-shirts. It says on the back there, 200 every time, every day. Uh, it's my first time seeing this, so, uh, but my guess is that means give 200% type of thing. Because, uh, yeah, that's my guess. Almost time to get started, guys. We're here for the Bayoffs. 
got a little police protection. You know, I haven't been here for a playoff game, but I imagine with the open area that, you know, they got to be careful. Alright, here we go. Oh no, they're so offended that you're cheering for the other team. But yeah, here we go. And those guys are over there. No, I disagree. So I thought while I think of it, I'll come down and get this shot once. Disagree. Hey. Hey, I'm watching you. No funny business, mister. After you, after you. <laughs> a little too happy. Shut up. Anyway, uh, Pasquale is with the goal. Uh, yeah, down 3 2 that. Well, we just had some roughing penalties. Uh, two for the Steelheads, two for the Battalion. Schwinn and DeSoto go for us, and uh, Battalion go uh, Nelson and Weekly. And now uh, Terra 7 is just taking down to Lichke, so we're on a power play. Let's do something with it. Well, getting chippy in this one. Some things that were called, some things that weren't. Uh, apparently, word coloring is legal in this league now. Uh, for the deep breath, but uh, yeah. Still looking for that tying goal. Let's 
get it. All right. Gave up the lead. Time to get it back. Intense playoff vibes. Chilling with a pizza. Still down 3-2 after two. Uh, shots are 29 to 18 for the Steelheads. I believe we could tie this up and potentially take the lead in the third or overtime or whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's get it. Let's eat this pizza too. Mm. Third period, I believe, boys. No, I disagree. I disagree. Let's get it, guys. No, they don't care. James Hardy has done it again. We are tied 16-10 left in the third period. Shot for 32-18 right now. We're loving it. This crowd here is not so loving it, but uh, we are. 3-3 three, three game. It's still a very tough series, and there's still a lot of work to do, but to all the experts that predicted it, that is a funny-looking sweep. Let's go see the guys. Love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. You too. Well, oh, dinner's arrived. Oh, that smells amazing. <laughs> They're gonna eat well tonight. Yeah. Very well. Yeah. Might, might be a little blocked right now. <laughs> There you go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Sorry to my headphone viewers. <laughs> Sir, right one. Good night. Good night. Making you work, Chaz. Yeah. 
All right, before I go, let's look at the other scores around the OHL playoffs. Uh, the Ottawa 67s beat the Oshawa Generals 3-2, so they're up 2-0 in their series. Uh, at the time I'm filming this, both the uh, Owen Sound London games and the Guelph Sarnia games are in overtime tied 4-4, so uh, I'll put those scores on the screen. Uh, Luka Del Blues, by the way, has two goals in the Sarnia game, and Ethan Del Mastro has an assist on one of Luka's goals, so our old buddy's working. Uh, also, the Barry Hamilton game is a night game, so I will put that game on the screen as well. In any case, the Sealheads are heading home. The next two games of this series are at home, Tuesday, April 4th, and Wednesday, April 5th, at the Paramount Fine Food Center, so I hope to see some of you guys there. Once again, I am by asking the OHL and CHL, please allow the fair use of your professional and amateur footage, help the small media, so they can help you. Until next time, you can find me behind the bench and only the bench. This is Jordan signing off. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.